Hi, this is Ankush. In today's video, we are going to see how to load Excel data to the PostgreSQL database. So basically, we have the requirement where uh, uh, Excel contain uh, number of records. So in this example, I am using the Excel which is having the 50,000 record and I am in a situation where I need to put this data to the PostgreSQL database table. So we are using the command line interface by using the putty uh, sorry uh, by using the pj admin and uh, we are will be looking after how we can do this thing in a practical way okay so let us see so if i go to this uh, location i can see there is one excel file is available so i'm just opening this file so that I can show you uh, what are all the records are available inside this excel file. So you can see here there are number of columns which are available which is active underscore QMS to ISP and there are around more than 43,000 records I can see over here sorry yeah, it's average so there are many records are available if you just go below you can see there are 59,000 records are available and we are going to insert these records to the PostgreSQL database table so in order to do this thing there are few things that we need to take care the first thing is we need to convert this excel file file to the csv file and after doing this we can use the copy command by using this copy command we can load the data from the excel file to the postgresql database and then we can just cross check it by using the select command okay so uh, before doing the copy there is one more thing which we need to take care that we need to create a table with the same data structure so I will I will be demonstrating you what is mean by data structure so if you just check to this uh, excel file you can see over here there are number of columns are available and when we are creating the new table in that case the column name and the number of columns should be uh, should be the same so this is what the main requirement is so here you can see there are number of columns are available uh, the first one is summary underscore date legacy is there and many columns are there so when we are creating the table in the PostgreSQL it should contain the same column or same number of columns so that it can detect that yeah this data should be available this data should be go to this particular column only so how to do that let me show you in a practical way before that I will just open the PG admin which is mainly useful to connect to the PostgreSQL database server So now it has connected to the PostgreSQL database server. It is not asking me the password because I have already saved the password. So let me go to the database. The database name is PostgreSQL. So here we have a schema which is having the name public and here only we are going to create a script. Okay. So as I said earlier, first of all we need to create a table. So I am going to create a table and this is the excel file. Before that we need to just convert this excel file to the csv file. How to do that? Go to the file, save as, browse and save as a type so we are using the type as a csv so just go here we 
this is a comma delimited and I'm keeping the name sample date CSV okay and I'm saving it to the desktop just click on save so already one CSV file is available available with the same name so I'm just replacing it okay so if I'm just going and checking the name was sample so this is a csv file i am trying to open this file with the notepad plus plus you can see over here this is the csv file and we have converted this xml file to this uh, csv file so the first uh, step is done now the second step is we need to create a table i have already a uh, step handy with me which is uh, creating a table let me show you before that I am just deleting the table if the same table is available so this is a table create table table name and summary underscore date which is having the date column and from where this column is coming so I will just show you if you just go to this excel file you can see over here this is the first column which is I am putting here legacy underscore company this is the second column third so the same number of column which is available in the xml file I am putting it to the SQL file. So basically we are creating a table over here and putting the same column which are available inside the XML file. Okay. Uh, so let me drop the table because I am already having this department table inside the public schema. So I will just fire this query. Now we have dropped the table. If I am just trying to find out by using the command select star from it is showing that the table does not exist because just now we have dropped the department table now we are going to create a new table with the name department under the public schema so I will just fire this query here now it has created a table let us try to select the data see here here now we can see there is no data available inside the department table because still we have not added or loaded the data from the csv file or excel file now this is the command which will be helpful to load the data from the excel file now the one thing which i have already told that we need to convert the xml file xls file to the csv file so we have already converted the X, the file to the csv file and this is the path that we need to set currently the csv file is available on the desktop so if you just go here right click properties you can get the path from here itself so till desktop it is the path and at last you need to provide the name of the file okay so let's copy it and fire it on the sql prompt okay now here we got the error message saying permission denied so what you need to do just go here right click properties and then go to the security tab click on the edit and at last you need to click on the add button type it as everyone so that everyone will have the access to read and write this file make sure you are providing all the access just by selecting the checkbox over here and click on apply ok ok now if you try let's see whether we are getting any error message so i am selecting this copy command again and just executing now it has started executing the command and hopefully 
it will load all the data which are available inside the csv file to the department table in order to cross check this we can use the select command once again let us see whether we are getting the same amount of data so here you can get you are getting the message saying copy 59000 record let us see by putting the command as a select star from the table name see here so whatever the data which are available inside the excel file or csv file that is getting loaded to the table department so this is how we can load the data from the excel file to the postgresql database so let me try to repeat the concept once again whenever you want to load the data from the excel file to the postgresql database first of all you need to convert the excel file to the csv file as a comma separate delimiter then you need to create a table which is having the same data structure as like a xml file access file excel sorry uh, excel file and then at last you need to use the command copy and in order to cross check you can use the select star from table name thank you so much see you again with the next video please do like subscribe bye bye